Did you know Hisense TV ranked number two globally in the first quarter of 2024 with a customer base so loyal they don't spare a glance at Samsung products? Amongst popular tech brands like Samsung, Apple, Hayer, TCL stands out high sense with its popularity, reliability, and super loyal customer base. With over 80,000 employees and achieving a market cap of 5.34 billion as of 2024, Hisense's journey to success is one that shows strategic growth and innovation. Today we will be looking at the unstoppable rise of Hisense, a company that transformed from a modest radio parts supplier to one of the biggest companies in the world. This transformation highlights the company's substantial growth and expansion with an annual revenue of $12.1 billion, but its recorded annual profit of $400 million in 2023, a staggering high from the rest of its competitors. Hisense, a Chinese multinational major appliance and electronics manufacturer, has been around for over 50 years and they've gradually become a force to be reckoned with. From gripping legal battles and fierce rivalries to jaw-dropping scandals, we'll uncover the secrets behind their rise to the top. If you're eager to learn how this industry titan overcame its biggest challenges and what lies ahead, stay tuned till the end of this video you won't want to miss a single detail. Chapter 1 The Foundations and Early Years of High Sense to truly understand just how far High Sense has come and their unstoppable rise, we will first have to discuss the early years of High Sense and how they came to be. High Sense was started in September of 1969 in Qingdao, China, by a man named Zhu Haojian. High Sense started as a small factory that was producing radios, and their name at the time was Qingdao No. 2 Radio Factory. You can see that they had a very humble beginning in a country that was just opening up to global markets. The small factory's first product was a radio sold under the brand name Red Lantern, but the company later gained the know-how to make TVs through a trial production of black-and-white televisions ordered by the Shandong National Defense Office. In the 1970s, Hisense slowly expanded its product line from radios to televisions. In 1971, they produced 82 televisions, and they also developed transistor TVs by 1975. In 1978, they produced their first TV model, CJD18, which made the brand become one of China's first manufacturers. Television production in China was limited until 1979, when a meeting of the Ministry of Electronics in Beijing concluded with calls for greater development of the civil use electronics industry. Qingdao No. 2 Radio Factory was then quickly merged with other local electronics makers and manufactured televisions under the name Qingdao General Television Factory in Shandong Province. Moving on to the 1980s, a great era for High Sense arrived because of the economic reforms in China that allowed greater entrepreneurial ventures and better technological development, and during this period, High Sense was able to start establishing itself as a leader in Chinese electronics. One of such innovations was creating color televisions for its customers in China. But it wasn't only about getting local customers for High Sense. It was also about technological independence which they could get from heavily investing in research and development which was important for them since they wanted to produce items with unique characteristics instead of copying what other competitors already had in the market. High Sense spent the rest of the 1980s on research and making itself known with its local consumers. By the 1990s, High Sense had moved on from just radios and TVs to other areas like its services and digital technology. Still in the 1990s, they initially focused on manufacturing radios which still had an existing market. The turning point came when the company decided to expand globally, establishing branches in key markets and embracing international trade. This bold move not only boosted their production capacity but also enhanced brand visibility. Today, Hisense products are enjoyed in households around the world, symbolizing quality and innovation. Their journey from a local brand to a global player showcases the power of ambition and strategic expansion. In the early 1990s, Hisense's products finally reached Europe and America in 1993 when they participated in the Canton Fair, which significantly expanded their international market presence. To succeed globally, Hisense ensured its products met high-quality standards and captured customer attention. In 1997, Hisense became publicly listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange which meant that other people could start to invest in them. By 1998, Hisense successfully acquired 10 struggling enterprises, which significantly contributed to its growth and expansion. During the foundational years of the now global Chinese company, they had some impressive achievements, especially in the 1990s. In 1969, Hisense originally focused on manufacturing radios, while in the 1980s the company began diversifying its product line, venturing into home appliances and televisions. In 1988, Hisense made history by launching China's first remote-controlled TV, 
revolutionizing how people interacted with their televisions. This groundbreaking achievement showcased their commitment to innovation and consumer convenience. By introducing this new technology, Hisense not only distinguished itself from competitors, but also laid the foundation for its future success. This bold step forward propelled the brand into a new era, leading to continued growth and expansion in the years to come. There was also an introduction of an air conditioning company for Hisense in 1996. In 2004, Hisense became the largest TV manufacturer in China by market share, largely due to several strategic moves innovation in technology, diverse product range, strategic partnerships, aggressive marketing exporting, and international expansion. At that time, leading competitors in the electronic manufacturing space included companies like Sony, Samsung, and LG, who were well-established global brands. Hisense's focus on innovation and strategic expansion allowed them to carve out a significant share of the market. The early years were important for Hisense and the foundation that was laid during this time is what set Hisense on a path to becoming a global contender in the electronics market. Chapter 2 Hisense expanded globally and acquired different brands. To truly become a global sensation, Hisense had to move beyond the borders of China and proceed to selling their products in other parts of the world. Hisense embarked on a strategic journey to establish a global presence by prioritizing innovation, expanding their product portfolio, and investing in international markets. They enhanced their manufacturing capabilities through advanced technology and quality control, ensuring their products met global standards. Additionally, they formed strategic partnerships and collaborations with key players like Samsung, Panasonic, Philips and Sharp in the industry, which facilitated entry into new markets. By actively participating in international trade shows and launching targeted marketing campaigns, Hisense built brand recognition and trust, ultimately positioning themselves as a competitive player on the world stage. In 1996, Hisense South Africa was founded, and this was the first step of internationalization for the company. In the early 2000s, Hisense started exporting their products to places that were traditionally dominated by Western and Japanese brands including Europe, North America, and Africa. They made the decision to expand after China gained access to the World Trade Organization in 2001. This new development in China actually opened up many trade opportunities for Chinese companies. In 2002, Hisense joined hands with another company known as Hitachi to produce a joint air conditioning venture so that they could increase their air conditioning reach in the international market. By the year 2005, Hisense's international sales had grown to about 30% of their total revenue which meant that their quest to enter into the international market was successful. With how hard Hisense worked on their global products, this was not a surprise. They didn't only export existing products like their pioneering remote-controlled TVs, they also developed new products to meet diverse consumer needs across various markets. For example, Hisense launched some specific models of home appliances and electronics that were perfect for the customers in Europe who had unique preferences and requirements. For example, they produced 73 million color TV sets. These products featured characteristics like higher energy efficiency and also sleek designs. Building on this success, Hisense expanded its operations and explored new product categories. By the mid-2000s, they were not only exporting existing products but also focusing on creating new ones to meet the evolving needs of consumers across various markets. This commitment to innovation and adaptation set the stage for their next significant venture. In 2008, Recognizing the growing demand for home appliances, Hisense launched its line of washing machines. This strategic move allowed them to offer a more comprehensive range of household solutions, further solidifying their position as a leading player in the global appliance market. They collaborated with Whirlpool, which was the world's largest white appliance manufacturer, and they started producing white electric products, such as washing machines together. This collaboration also really helped their international sales. In general, Hisense had some key market strategies they employed when trying to enter new markets. Their strategy was methodical and also involved highly engaging the locals in the area. For example, when Hisense wanted to enter the Australian market, they first of all established a strong presence by aligning themselves with popular local retailers and investing in targeted marketing campaigns that showcased their commitment to quality and innovation. When launching their products in South Africa, they adopted a hands-on approach by opening a manufacturing plant in 2013. This move not only demonstrated their commitment to the local economy, but also helped reduce product prices in Africa, making their offerings more accessible and appealing to consumers. Did you know that over the years, Hisense has acquired different brands and added them under its umbrella? Apart from their other international marketing strategies, which tend to be business approaches adopted to promote their products or services in foreign markets, these strategies are essential for companies looking to expand beyond their domestic borders and tap into global opportunities. 
A well-crafted international marketing strategy helps organizations understand diverse markets, meet consumer needs, and navigate cultural differences. There was another very important strategy used by Hisense when trying to get into the global market, and this strategy is brand acquisitions and partnerships. This strategy of theirs helped to make the process of market penetration and brand recognition faster. For example, in 2015, Hisense bought Sharp America's TV manufacturing facilities in Mexico, and this gave them the right to use the Sharp brand name in the Americas. The deal was worth $23.7 million, and it was a life-changing one for Hisense because it provided them with an established brand's manufacturing capabilities and also a ready market in North and South America. With this acquisition, Sharp has a significant presence in America as a well-established brand known for its quality consumer electronics, particularly televisions. By producing and selling Sharp branded televisions, Hisense was able to leverage Sharp's strong reputation for quality and reliability, enhancing consumer trust in their products. This partnership allowed Hisense to grow its brand independently while benefiting from Sharp's established market credibility, making it easier to compete in the competitive American electronics market. Another acquisition Hisense made was that of Toshiba Television. In 2017, Hisense acquired a 95% stake in the television unit of Toshiba for $113 million. Through this acquisition, Hisense gained access to Toshiba's television production, brand, and operation services. They made this acquisition because they wanted to harness Toshiba's technological capabilities, which could be added into Hisense's existing product lines to make them more unique and innovative. While the acquisitions were mainly about expanding Hisense's manufacturing capabilities and influence in the global market, they were also about getting technological expertise and heritage branding, which are both important in the competitive consumer electronics market. Hisense acquired different brands, but the acquisition of the Telefunken, Gorenji, Kelan, TCL's White Goods Division, Medea's Air Conditioning Division, Sharp and Toshiba brands to mention a few, or what provided the company with valuable intellectual property and also gave them access to advanced technology. After the acquisitions, it was able to introduce a variety of new and innovative products, such as their advanced smart televisions, alongside other offerings like refrigerators and air conditioners to the market much faster than they would have been able to on their own. For example, Hisense was able to launch its own OLED TV models in 2018 after taking advantage of Toshiba's OLED technology and these products were well received in the high-end consumer segments. The company also was able to start producing LCD and LED TVs with better quality after acquiring Sharp's facilities. You would like to know that despite these acquisitions doing Hisense a lot of good, it wasn't a very easy process and they faced some challenges. For example, it was difficult for the management to integrate different corporate cultures from different companies and countries after the acquisitions, and Hisense also got some criticism with people being skeptical about whether they could keep the high standard of quality the Sharp and Toshiba brands already had. However, Hisense faced challenges head-on by investing significantly in quality assurance processes and enhancing post-sale services. They allocated resources to develop rigorous testing protocols and customer support initiatives, ensuring high customer satisfaction and fostering brand loyalty. Generally, by the end of 2017, Hisense had been able to expand its global footprint and also make itself a serious competitor in the international electronics market through its strategic acquisitions and other international marketing strategies. And this success could also be seen in their company's sales figures because they continued to increase year after year. Just like that, Hisense had successfully gone from a local Chinese brand to a respected global entity that was known for its commitment to innovation, quality, and responsiveness to customer needs. Chapter 3, The Technological Innovations of Hisense and Market Disruption Did you know that Hisense produced the first 100-inch laser TV in the world? Before we get to this interesting fact, let us learn more about Hisense's technological innovations in general. Among other companies that are involved in technology in the world, Hisense definitely stands out as a paysetter. Their drive for being innovative strengthened their product lineup and also brought in various changes in the technology sector. When it comes to integrating advanced technology into everyday home appliances, Hisense is one of the best. They made huge strides in enhancing user interface and energy efficiency. One area where Hisense really had a lot of technological advancement is in the smart home product range. They integrated IoT Internet of Things technologies into different home appliances such as refrigerators, air conditioners, and washing machines. This new technology allowed these appliances to offer personalized user experiences, gather useful data to improve energy efficiency, and also provide a level of convenience that had never been gotten before. Apart from these home appliances, 
Hisense also introduced the ULED technology in the television segment and stands for Ultra LED. What makes it different from the regular LED is that it has better contrast color brightness and motion rate and is even cheaper than the OLED screens. With this technology, Hisense started getting noticed as a high quality and affordable brand compared to other expensive and established brands. Now speaking about that 100 inch laser TV, Hisense launched this product in 2018 and it was a highly innovative product that combines laser technology with ultra-high definition content to create a viewing experience that is immersive and also challenges the traditional television formats. With this laser TV, Hisense was not only able to highlight their innovative capabilities, they were also able to show their commitment to redefining the home cinema experience. Hisense's technological innovations are not done yet. There are still many amazing ones to come. Let's look at how they managed to commit to environmental sustainability through innovative product design and manufacturing processes. Hisense has made sure that they develop energy-efficient products across all its lines, and this includes refrigerators that use less electricity and air conditioners that use, use eco-friendly refrigerants. This just shows how dedicated they are to reducing the ecological footprints of their operations and products. Hisense continues to innovate with its air conditioning products. They've created energy-efficient systems that not only keep your home comfortable but also include features like air purification and humidity control. These air conditioners are designed to provide maximum comfort while also being environmentally friendly. Hisense has also developed lithium-ion batteries that promise longer lifespans, faster charging times, and higher safety profiles compared to conventional batteries. This Chinese company is literally showing itself in all the areas available. Their innovations in the battery technology have been said to have potential significant impacts on consumer electronics, automotive and industrial applications, and even potentially powering the next generation of electric vehicles and smart machinery. It's clear that Hisense has truly established itself as a leader in technological innovation, consistently pushing boundaries and redefining what's possible in the electronics industry. And these innovations have not only increased the quality of its products, it has also set new standards in the electronics and appliance industries. Hisense did not only become a recognized brand through their constant investment in research and development, they have also been able to challenge more established brands and carve a high place for themselves in the market. The company has an exceptional ability to blend performance, quality, and affordability, and this had disrupted traditional market patterns. Chapter 4, Hisense's Sponsorships and Marketing Themselves Globally We already know that for Hisense to become a successful brand, they needed to invest significantly in building their global reputation and positioning themselves as a leading technology brand worldwide. So they developed a strategic approach to marketing that involved High Hisense has engaged in numerous sponsorships and partnerships to enhance brand recognition. Through these collaborations, they have aligned themselves with events and organizations that share values of excellence, innovation, and a global presence. Now, let's explore some of the key sponsorships Hisense has participated in over the years. Hisense sponsored the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, and this marked a significant milestone in the company's global marketing efforts. They were the first Chinese electronics brand to sponsor this event, and so they reached millions of homes worldwide. With this partnership, Hisense did not only get brand recognition, they were also able to be associated with an event celebrated for its excitement and universal appeal. Because this first event was a success, Hisense was able to renew its commitment as an official sponsor and it also sponsored the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This definitely presented the brand as one that is dedicated to global sports and entertainment. The FIFA World Cup is not the only football event Hisense has sponsored. In 2020, they became an official sponsor of the UEFA Euro 2020, and this move cemented their reputation in the European markets. Passionate football fans in Europe patronized the brand after noticing its sponsorship and sales increased. The sponsorship activities for this event included exclusive television rights, co-branded advertising, and innovative fan engagement activities. Still on the sponsorships and partnerships Hisense formed to promote itself, let's look at their collaboration with Google. In 2020, Hisense announced a partnership with Google to integrate Google's Android TV operating system in their own televisions. This collaboration was able to enhance the functionality of Hisense TVs with the presence of features like voice control, app integration, and personalized recommendations. It also presented Hisense as a forward-thinking brand in smart home technology. Hisense's marketing strategies did not only include sponsorships and partnerships, they also launched different innovative marketing campaigns that were designed to engage directly with their customers. These campaigns used digital media, social platforms, and other interactive content. Because of their high-impact visuals and captivating narratives, Hisense's advertising campaigns have made a significant impact across various markets worldwide. 
notably there because Life is More campaign emphasizes how their products enhance everyday experiences, connecting with consumers on a personal level. Additionally, Hisense has sponsored major sporting events, including the FIFA World Cup and the NBA, which has allowed them to showcase their brand on a global stage. Another key initiative is the Go Beyond campaign, which encourages consumers to explore the advanced features of their products. Together, these campaigns have solidified Hisense's reputation and presence in the international market. These adverts usually highlight the commitment of the brand to quality, innovation, and customer satisfaction. Chapter 5 Controversies and Challenges We've been talking about all the moves Hisense made to get to where they are today, but it is now time to talk about the challenges they faced and the controversies surrounding the brand. From legal disputes to public relations issues, let us take a look at what these challenges and controversies are. One of the major challenges Hisense has faced is that of legal battles involving patent disputes and intellectual property rights issues. In 2017, Hisense encountered a huge legal challenge when Sharp, one of the brands they had earlier acquired, accused them of damaging its brand reputation by producing lower quality TVs under the Sharp name. Sharp filed this lawsuit with the aim of terminating the licensing agreement on the claim that High Sense's practices were detrimental to Sharp's brand. Although it was later resolved, with Sharp dropping the lawsuit against High Sense in 2018, this dispute just highlighted the risks that are associated with international brand partnerships and acquisitions, especially when it comes to quality control and brand perception. Apart from the intellectual property dispute with Sharp, Hisense was also involved in some other patent disputes over technology infringement which is common in the tech industry, where innovation is quick and patent portfolios are extensive. Some of these legal battles involved complex negotiations and also led to significant financial and reputational costs. Still on legal disputes, Hisense had a huge scandal where they faced a $3.37 million fraud case involving Aphrodite Myron, who was a former customer service manager. She had allegedly set up 30 accounts and was channeling money gotten from Hisense Australia into these accounts. It was discovered that she had been doing this for about eight years, which was from January 2014 to January 2021. The case was so serious that the company lodged a commercial claim against her in the Victorian Supreme Court, where it was handled. This case also caused a lot of financial loss for Hisense and it made them see the need for internal audit and control systems so that a similar situation never arises again. However, despite this scandal, Hisense continues to thrive. One of the other challenges Hisense has faced over the years is that of quality. The company has faced some occasional criticism over the quality of its product. This is because even though the company wants to produce high-quality products, the fast rate of production and diverse range of products can sometimes lead to inconsistencies in quality. For example, Hisense has had to recall products due to safety concerns a number of times. Each time any sort of recall happened, it made the company reevaluate its quality assurance processes and also establish stricter controls to prevent such issues in the future. At times, Hisense's reputation has faced challenges due to negative customer feedback regarding product performance. However, the company has taken a proactive approach by addressing these concerns openly and swiftly. This commitment to transparency and responsiveness has helped them sustain customer trust and loyalty, even in the face of adversity. Another challenge Hisense has faced in their early years is entering new markets. While Hawaii Sense was trying to create a place for itself in the international market, it faces some problems when trying to enter new markets, especially in regions that already had established competitors. For example, in Europe and North America, Hisense had to compete against well-known local brands that customers already liked for their quality and innovation. To gain market share in these regions required huge marketing investment and also developing more products that are tailored to local consumer preferences. Still on entering new markets, Navigating the different regulations each country has when it comes to electronics has also been a difficult process. They have had to meet strict environmental standards and also adhere to trade policies. Luckily for the company, they were able to solve these problems by having a flexible approach and deep local knowledge. There are still more challenges that Hisense faces while they were establishing themselves. Because they are a global brand, they have had to manage their public relations very carefully, especially in markets outside China. At times, they encountered cultural missteps in their advertising and public communications, which have resulted in backlash. For example, certain ads have been criticized for not adequately reflecting local customs or sensitivities, leading to misunderstandings among consumers. These missteps highlight the importance of cultural awareness in global marketing and the need for careful consideration of local contexts to avoid alienating potential customers. We have to commend Hisense for their quick and reasonable responses to their issues. 
as this is what was able to save them and uphold the company's image while addressing public concerns. The global giant also faces some challenges when it comes to maintaining data privacy. Like many smart TV manufacturers, Hisense collects data to provide various smart TV services. However, this practice can bring about some privacy concerns. If a smart TV has integrated microphones or cameras, hackers could potentially spy on users through audio and video, and this is one thing that makes many users skeptical about using these products. Like every other successful company, Hisense has encountered its own set of challenges, however, the admirable thing about them is how they have been able to learn from their controversies and adapt strategies to keep themselves afloat. They have created a superb legal team to handle intellectual property issues more effectively and have also invested in customer service and quality control measures to address product and safety concerns. With each challenge they have faced, Hisense has only come out stronger and this is what has made their rise in the global market unstoppable. Chapter 6 – How Products Are Being Used in Different Sectors Hisense has managed to involve itself in different sectors in the world including healthcare, education and even the sports sector. For example, in the healthcare sector, Hisense produces high-resolution displays that are used in different medical settings such as surgery, diagnostics and patient monitoring. The monitors are specially designed to provide amazing image clarity and color accuracy because these things are important to medical professionals when making diagnoses or performing surgeries. There are also other products manufactured by Hisense for the healthcare sector. They have developed telehealth systems that allow patients to receive medical consultations and monitoring without even needing to visit the hospital. This technology has been very useful particularly in the rural and underserved areas because it improves accessibility to quality healthcare services. Hisense products are also being used in the educational sectors for a number of tasks. For example, Hisense has smart classroom solutions that have interactive displays and a learning management system that makes sure that learning is more interactive and engaging. The company has also partnered with different providers of educational content so that some educational resources are integrated directly into their devices such as smart TVs and tablets. Also, in the sports sector, Hisense has equipped many sports stadiums with amazing display technologies such as giant LED screens and digital signage. These products are designed to enhance the fan experience during live events because they offer vivid replays and entertainment features that make the event even more enjoyable. There are also systems that provide sport teams with detailed performance analytics and these tools help the coaches and players to analyze their gameplay, improve their strategies and just enhance their team performance in general. It is obvious that these products are very useful and have found their place in many different sectors including education and healthcare. The diversity of their products has also increased their sales and by creating machines for specific sectors. Chapter 7 Global Employment and Economic Impact As Hisense is a global powerhouse, it doesn't only affect the global markets with its products, it also really impacts the economies of the countries where it operates and sells its products. Right now, we will be looking at how Hisense has affected economic development in different places including how they've become a key job creator. Based on their latest reports, Hisense employs more than 80,000 people all over the world, and this includes places like China, South Africa, Czech Republic, the United States and other sales and marketing offices in various places around the world. In places where there is a high unemployment rate, Hisense has been able to provide a sort of lifeline for them by offering both skilled and unskilled positions that members of the community can apply for. Apart from creation of jobs, Hisense's manufacturing plants all over the world also contribute to the local economy. They contribute to the development of local supply chains, increase demand for local services, and also enhance the overall economic activity within the particular region. For example, after Hisense established a television factory in South Africa, they not only provided employment for the locals, they also brought about the establishment of other services and in other industries including logistics, packaging and maintenance, even removing direct economic impacts. Hisense also participates in community development programs that are designed to improve living standards and infrastructure in the areas around its operations. Hisense contributes to upgrading local infrastructure in areas where they operate, such as roads, utilities, and public services. These efforts provide long-term benefits to local residents, enhancing their quality of life and improving access to essential service. Chapter 8 – Competition with Other Brands The world of consumer electronics is a very competitive one, and it is very difficult to create a space in this world. However, Hisense has managed to do what seems impossible. They were able to find a place in the midst of other tech giants like Samsung, LG, and Sony. But how did they do it? Let's find out. To stand out from an impressive crowd, 
Hisense recognized that they had to be even more impressive and this is why they continuously invested in technological advancements including ULED TVs and smart home appliances so that their products were unique and able to stand beside other products in the market by offering good features in their products at a more accessible price point. They were able to attract a broad consumer base of people looking for quality and affordability. Speaking of pricing, we have to talk more about Hisense's aggressive pricing strategy. Unlike premium brands that give high prices for new technologies, Hisense usually introduces new technologies at lower price points. This pricing strategy makes advanced technology more affordable, and it also disrupts the traditional pricing models in the electronics market, which forces competitors to reconsider their strategies. We've mentioned before that Hisense acquired some brands while trying to expand themselves to a global level, but the acquisition of these brands did not only help their global presence, it also helped them to be able to compete with other existing brands in the market. With these strategic acquisitions, Hisense has been able to gain a foothold in the markets where it did not really have a presence before. Now, let us compare Hisense's growth with that of its main competitors. Brands like Samsung and LG have dominated the high-end market segments, but Hisense has made a space for itself in the mid-tier market segments in different continents and countries. In fact, recent data has shown that Hisense is one of the top five global brands when it comes to TV shipments, and this shows its growing influence. It has also expanded the range of its products to cover everything from budget to premium segments, and this has been closing the gap with high-end manufacturers. Based on reviews and consumer feedback, it can be said that Hisense's top-tier products are now the same in quality and features as those of its Western and Japanese competitors. In a competitive market, it is important to have loyal customers and a good brand image, and this is part of the steps the company has taken to make itself a veritable competitor to other brands. They have managed to build and maintain a strong customer base by doing things like a brand loyalty program. In these brand loyalty programs, Hisense offers extended warranties discounts on new products and customer support to enhance customer satisfaction and retention. Hisense has also made sure to invest in global marketing campaigns in order to enhance brand visibility and also foster positive brand associations. For example, their sponsorship of international sporting events such as the FIFA World Cup and UEFA Euro helped them to build a good brand image with football fans all over the world and also make them better competitors in the electronics. Though Hisense has mostly been successful in its endeavors, it still faced some challenges such as intense competition, fast-paced market changes, and the need to constantly innovate. Come these problems is part of what makes their impressive market share makes them strong competitors. Hisense's journey in the competitive landscape of consumer electronics showcases a well-executed strategy of innovation, market adaptation, and customer engagement. Chapter 9 Future Outlook in Emerging Technologies Hisense has achieved its current success through diligent effort and strategic investments in key areas. However, as Hisense continues to create a place for itself in the global market, the company doesn't only want to maintain its current success, it wants to get to greater heights in the future. With a very determined focus on innovation and sustainability, Hisense is set to make a difference in the consumer electronics industry with its groundbreaking advancements. Now, let's take a look at Hisense's plans for the future. Firstly, Hisense has a commitment to environmental sustainability that they're taking very seriously, and they plan to maintain this feature in the future. Because they recognize the need for eco-friendly technology for our planet, they have been investing heavily in developing products that will reduce carbon footprints and energy consumption. The future Hisense products, especially home appliances and HVAC systems, are expected to have advanced energy-saving technologies that will not only comply with but exceed global energy standards. Environmental sustainability is not the only future plan Hisense has. They also want to achieve advancements in smart home technology. With the use of artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things, they plan to create a seamless home environment. For example, future smart home products from Hisense will have enhanced AI capabilities that can learn user behavior, anticipate needs, and even manage the home environment very efficiently to ensure comfort, convenience, and energy efficiency. Apart from that, Hisense is also working on increasing the interconnectivity between different home devices so that there can be a truly integrated home system where all the devices communicate with each other. Hisense has huge plans for the future that includes more innovation in the display technologies. After being successful with ULED and laser TVs, Hisense is more more motivated to develop the next generation display technologies which promise even better clarity, color accuracy, and energy efficiency. 
They also plan to make advancements in OLED and micro-LED technologies that could lead to thinner, more flexible, and more vibrant screens. Hisense is not ignoring the communications aspect either. They fully recognize the importance of connectivity in today's world, and so they are focusing on enhancing their communication technologies, specifically by integrating 5G capabilities into more of its product lines to improve device communication and also enable faster data transfer rates. As we can see, the company has a lot of plans for the future, and we are not even done talking about them yet. The company also wants to strengthen its position in key international markets through manufacturing hubs in these places. Creating these facilities would not only cater to local market needs more effectively, it will also increase Hisense's adaptability to changing global market trends. The company is strategically targeting emerging markets where there is quick urbanization and increased consumer spending power to present significant growth opportunities. They also plan to introduce affordable yet high-quality products designed to meet the unique needs of these markets. We can say that Hisense is definitely ready to continue its journey as a pioneer in technology and innovation. They have had an unstoppable rise and they have no plans of being forgotten or giving up anytime soon. With a clear focus on sustainability, smart technology, and global expansion, Hisense is ready to embrace new opportunities and adapting to future trends as quickly as possible. Conclusion It's clear that describing Hisense's journey as an unstoppable rise is fitting after examining their impressive progression and how they got to be where they are today. With a lot of innovation, determination, and impressive customer service, a modest radio factory in Qingdao became a global powerhouse in consumer electronics and home appliances. Throughout the years, Hisense has navigated various challenges, including market competition, legal issues, and quality control concerns, consistently emerging stronger each time. This resilience highlights the company's determination to succeed. Considering the progress Hisense has made, it's clear that the only direction for them is upward. Their continued investment in research and development demonstrates a commitment to building a promising future. Ultimately, Hisense's journey embodies ambition, strategic vision, and a drive for technological innovation, and its future activities will definitely be interesting to watch for technology enthusiasts, industry analysts, and consumers. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, turn on your notifications right now so you can be the first to know the moment we drop a new video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Do let us know if you find any companies fascinating for us to create an amazing video for you.